with the release of the new Pokemon game for the Nintendo Switch. I thought it would be fun to talk about some Pokemon names in Japanese. Now, I have said it before, but I do not recommend using Pokemon to study a second language. I see this recommended to beginners all the time, but I'm telling you, it's an awful, horrible idea. There are way too many made up words, too heavy fantasy elements, too much slang. There is just too much going on for it to be helpful to your studies. If you're looking for a game to study a second language, try Animal Crossing instead. Anyway, back to the Pokemon. There are now 898 Pokemon, and almost all of them have a different name in every single language. There are a handful that are the same, or at least similar, in other languages, Pikachu being one of them, but most of them are really, really different. Today, we are going to talk about the three starters in Pokemon Legends of Arceus. First up, we have Cyndaquil, a personal favorite of mine. Cyndaquil's name in Japanese is Hino Arashi, and it means Storm of Fire. However, it also seems to be a play on the words Hi, meaning fire, and Yama Arashi, meaning porcupine. So, I actually chose Rowlet as my starter, and I made this video from memory. Um, so all I could recall was a little blue and white starter, and my first thought was Piplup. But turns out it was actually Oshawott. So today you will learn about Piplup instead, and maybe I will do Oshawott in a different video. Piplup is called Pochama, which is a little more difficult to explain. Onomatopoeia, or sound words, are really important in Japanese. We have these words in English, but we do not use them the same way. In Japanese, these sound words can actually be used in sentences just like regular words. So Piplup's name comes from the sound of splashing water, which is pocha pocha. This sound can also be used to reference something chubby and cute. Then we have the word pochama, meaning boy or son. In other words, Piplup is a splashy boy. Our last starter Pokemon is Rowlet, named Mokuro in Japanese. If you watched my video on Sailor Moon, you might remember that the word Moku means tree or wood. The word owl in Japanese is Fukuro, so Rowlet is a wood owl. 